Are you serious? Are you serious? What? That's Pastor Paul Begley, 1996. That's when I was 34 years old, riding a camel in Jericho. Are you serious? A camel in Jericho. And yes, this thing spit on me after I got off of it. But that's another story for another time. We're celebrating 28 years of ministry. And uh, God called us to preach. And uh, we entered the ministry in June the 24th, 1984. This Sunday coming up will be June 24th, 2012. 28 years of ministry. And let's watch a little bit of uh, footage here from Jericho. Not only on the camel, but I also met some Israeli soldiers. So let's, let's take a peek at that, okay? Here we go. Let me, let me make sure I got my volume high enough so that you'll be able to hear the uh, audio. And so here, there it is. Paul Begley uh, riding a camel. Thank God that guy's got the reins because, uh, you know, I don't know what would happen. Here we go. Holy Land. So there I am riding the camel. And I'll tell you what, Bobby Gibson, uh, I'd like to see you ride one of these. Uh, this, is a, this was a trip for sure. I was just worried he was going to spit on me. Also, while we're in Jericho there, we're, there's, you see the Israeli soldiers, and we were uh, talking to them and uh, you know, sharing with them the fact that uh, Jerusalem, of course, is a place, or the city of Israel, or the uh, country of Israel is a place of great turmoil, and we shared with them and talked to them, and they were very friendly. Uh, bear in mind, the week I got there, there had not been a bombing in Jerusalem uh, or in Israel in five years since the Gulf War. And there we are talking with these fellows. That's the, the guy next to me there is uh, Brother Bobbitt. He's a preacher from Kentucky. But they're the Israeli soldiers. They can talk English very well. They mostly speak Hebrew. and uh, But we're talking English with them and talking about how the country's been under siege and different things, but it was a peacetime. Little did we know that they were talking to them that uh, that following Sunday to come that a man was going to strap bombs around himself, jump on a bus, and blow up the bus just down the street from our hotel. We heard the explosion and killed 27 people. And uh, that happened the last day we were in Jerusalem. So, uh, you know, uh, we need to be praying for the peace of Israel. And this is uh, exactly that we were getting ready to leave. We were eating breakfast in the hotel lobby, uh, well, in the room that they had for us. And, uh, of course, I was with a tour group. I was with Dr. Lester Summerall. And all of a sudden we heard this explosion. And, uh, I mean, it shook our hotel. It shook our plates and our cups of coffee and juice. And uh, Israel, my... Matter of fact, Israel is the largest producer of orange juice in the world. Uh, I know folks may not know that. What a beautiful country. But the explosion, we heard it, and everybody was startled. And all of a sudden, a man came running in the room, and he said, Don't worry about it. He said, That's the sonic boom of our jets as they fly over our country, keeping us safe. Just relax, relax, eat your breakfast. So we settled back down. We finished breakfast. We got our bags, and we were leaving. When we went outside the hotel to get on our bus... The whole city of Jerusalem was in absolute panic and chaos. People were running through the streets with guns. Um, they ushered us onto the bus, and they told us we were getting out of Jerusalem. There had been a major suicide bomb that had just went off. A man had got on a bus with a bomb, blew it up, killed 27 people. And that was the first uh, violence bombing in Jerusalem in five years. I happened to be there. I heard the explosion. It's crazy. But anyway, as we said there a minute ago, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. All right. God bless you guys. And uh, this again, we're celebrating 28 years of ministry. Just giving you a little bit of bits and pieces of some footage that we've pulled out of the archives from February of 1996.